Hey guys and gals, today we're going to show you how to replace our broken plastic plunger on a Penn International. This is a 50SW, but it's also the, the 30 and some others as well. First thing we need to do is remove this cap, and we can't just take our finger and twist it off or use a vice grip or something and, and uh, take it off as well. Because there's something under there that we have to be careful for. Uh, it's a little... Uh, shaft that has two little points on the end of it. If you use just this without using any sort of leverage on the bottom, you could damage the tines under there and then make that unusable and have to replace that as well. So I'm going to show you the easiest way of doing it. Uh, you can also use something like a strap wrench. This sometimes works, sometimes does not work, but it's safe for the, uh, the knurled cover here. But if we use some uh, some plumber's tape we can just take it make sure it stays above this channel right here because we're going to be putting this piece in between it like that so i'll show it to you after i'm done wrapping this up and it doesn't have to be perfect Notice I'm trying to keep that high above that slot where that uh, that wrench is going to go. That should work fine. Strap that off. Now we're going to take this and put this in this position here. Because we're going to be putting leverage this way while we turn this way. Uh, let's see if I can show you this slot that I'm referring to. If you look right there, there's a flat side on there and right there and this is just going to slide right over that just like that now i'm going to hold on to this with uh just a cloth and i'm going to take this turn this way as i push this that direction Now we can just undo the rest of our fingers. All you do at this point is just simply pull up. That came out of there. This, this one piece is supposed to come out like that. So now we can take this stuff off here. Because we're going to reuse this piece. There's a replacement piece. Before we do that, I'm going to check the tines on here. Because it's possible that the customer, before he brought it in, tried to do that without supporting it with this piece here and damage the tines so we're going to just double check it in a sec to access that we're going to remove this little clip here we're going to lift that up kind of like that then rotate this direction we can pick this straight up this is all just one piece sometimes it doesn't come up you got to turn it a little bit to get it up in the air or get it off of there and these are the two pieces i'm talking about right here if you look right there, you see there's two little tines or two little points sticking up there. You don't want those folded in. If they're folded in, then you're going to have issues with that plunger. And these look... They look fine. Okay, so let's put this stuff back on. Doesn't matter which ones you put it on. Alright, so now all we're going to do is take this piece, stick it inside, I'm going to add a little bit of grease to it, and some around that top part right there as well, that where, that's where it gets locked in place when you push down on the button. Stick it in, just like that. You can add some grease inside here. then just screw it on. You're going to get to a point where it feels slightly tight. That's where you're going to stop. 
take this piece, put it back on there. And at this point, we're going to hand tighten it. Okay, now in general, just hand tightening it will be fine. We want to test the functionality of it. That's the low gear. Should be the high gear. And there it is. If you want it any tighter, you can rewrap that with this. But in general, a hand tightened can be fine and it won't come off. All right, guys, I hope to help some of you guys out there. If you found it useful, please hit that thumbs up button. If you appreciate content like this, please consider, consider subscribing to the channel. And I will see you all next time.